1 Chronicles chapter 24. Now these are the divisions of the sons of Aaron. The sons of Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. But Nadab and Abihu died before their father, and had no children, therefore Eleazar and Ithamar executed the priest's office. And David distributed them, both Zadok of the sons of Eleazar, and Ahimelech of the sons of Ithamar, according to their offices and their service. And there were more chief men found of the sons of Eleazar than of the sons of Ithamar, and thus were they divided. Among the sons of Eleazar there were sixteen chief men of the house of their fathers, and eight among the sons of Ithamar according to the house of their fathers. Thus were they divided by lot, one sort with another, for the governors of the sanctuary, and governors of the house of God, were of the sons of Eleazar, and of the sons of Ithamar. And Shemaiah the son of Nethaniel the scribe, one of the Levites, wrote them before the king, and the princes, and Zadok the priest, and Ahimelech the son of Abiathar, and before the chief of the fathers of the priests and Levites, one principal household being taken for Eleazar, and one taken for Ithamar. Now the first lot came forth to Jehoiarib, the second to Jediah, the third to Haram, the fourth to Seirim, the fifth to Malchijah, the sixth to Majamin, the seventh to Hakos, the eighth to Abijah, the ninth to Jeshua, the tenth to Shechaniah, the eleventh to Eliashib, the twelfth to Jacob, the thirteenth to Hopa, the fourteenth to Jeshebaab, the fifteenth to Bilgah, the sixteenth to Immer, the seventeenth to Hezer, the eighteenth to Aphsis, the nineteenth to Pethiah, the twentieth to Jehazekel, the one and twentieth to Jachin, the two and twentieth to Gamal, the three and twentieth to Deleah, the four and twentieth to Maaziah. These were the orderings of them in their service to come into the house of the Lord, according to their manner, under Aaron their father, as the Lord God of Israel had commanded him. And the rest of the sons of Levi were these, of the sons of Amram, Shubael, of the sons of Shubael, Judea. Concerning Rehabiah, of the sons of Rehabiah, the first was Ashiah. Of the Israelites, Shelemoth, of the sons of Shelemoth, Jahath. And the sons of Hebron, Jeria the first, Amariah the second, Jehaziel the third, Jechamiam the fourth. Of the sons of Azil, Micah, of the sons of Micah, Shamir. The brother of Micah was Ashiah, of the sons of Ashiah, Zechariah. The sons of Merari were Mali and Mushi, the sons of Jeaziah, Benno. The sons of Merari by Jeaziah, Benno, and Shoham, and Zakur, and Ibri. Of Mali came Eleazar, who had no sons. Concerning Kish, the son of Kish was Jeremiel. The sons also of Mushi, Mali, and Eder, and Jeremoth. These were the sons of the Levites after the house of their fathers. These likewise cast lots over against their brethren the sons of Aaron in the presence of David the king, and Zadok, and Ahimelech, and the chief of the fathers of the priests and Levites, even the principal fathers over against their younger brethren. 1 Chronicles chapter 25. Moreover David and the captains of the host separated to the service of the sons of Asaph, and of Heman, and of Jeduthun, who should prophesy with harps, with psalteries, and with cymbals, and the number of the workmen according to their service was. Of the sons of Asaph, Zakur, and Joseph, and Nethaniah, and Azarlah, the sons of Asaph under the hands of Asaph, which prophesied according to the order of the king. Of Jeduthun, the sons of Jeduthun, Gedaliah, and Zeri, and Jeshaiah, Hashabiah, and Mattathiah, six, under the hands of their father Jeduthun, who prophesied with a harp, to give, thanks and to praise the Lord. Of Heman, the sons of Heman, Bakiah, Mataniah, Azil, Shabul, and Jeremoth, Hananiah, Hanani, Eliatha, Gadalti, and Romamtezer, Joshbakasha, Malathi, Hathir, and Mahazioth. All these were the sons of Heman the king's seer in the words of God, to lift up the horn and God gave to Heman fourteen sons and three daughters. All these were under the hands of their father for song in the house of the Lord, with cymbals, psalteries, and harps, for the service of the house of God, according to the king's order to Asaph, Jeduthun, and Heman. So the number of them, with their brethren that were instructed in the songs of the Lord, even all that were cunning, was two hundred fourscore and eight. And they cast lots, ward against ward, as well the small as the great, the teacher as the scholar. Now the first lot came forth for Asaph to Joseph, the second to Gedaliah, who with his brethren and sons were twelve. The third to Zakur, 
he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The fourth to Isri, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The fifth to Nethaniah, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The sixth to Bacchiah, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The seventh to Jeshurela, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The eighth to Jeshaiah, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The ninth to Mataniah, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The tenth to Shimei, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The eleventh to Azareel, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The twelfth to Hashabiah, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The thirteenth to Shubael, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The fourteenth to Mattathiah, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The fifteenth to Jeremoth, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The sixteenth to Hananiah, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The seventeenth to Joshbakasha, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The eighteenth to Hanani, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The nineteenth to Malathi, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The twentieth to Eliatha, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The one and twentieth to Hathir, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The two and twentieth to Gadalti, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The three and twentieth to Mahazioth, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The four and twentieth to Romamtizer, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. First Chronicles chapter 26 verses 1 through 11. Concerning the divisions of the porters, of the Korites was Meshelamiah the son of Kor, of the sons of Asaph. And the sons of Meshelamiah were, Zechariah the firstborn, Jediel the second, Zebediah the third, Jathniel the fourth, Elam the fifth, Jehohanan the sixth, Elianai the seventh. Moreover the sons of Obed-Edom were, Shemaiah the firstborn, Jehozabad the second, Joah the third, and Sakar the fourth, and Nethaniel the fifth. Amiel the sixth, Issachar the seventh, Pulthi the eighth, for God blessed him. Also unto Shemaiah his son were sons born, that ruled throughout the house of their father, for they were mighty men of valor. The sons of Shemaiah, Othni, and Rephael, and Obed, Elzabad, whose brethren were strong men, Elihu, and Semachiah. All these of the sons of Obed-Edom, they and their sons and their brethren, able men for strength for the service, were threescore and two of Obed-Edom. And Meshelamiah had sons and brethren, strong men, eighteen. Also Hosea, of the children of Merari, had sons, Simri the chief, for though he was not the firstborn, yet his father made him the chief. Helkiah the second, Tabaliah the third, Zechariah the fourth, all the sons and brethren of Hosea were thirteen. Romans chapter 4 verses 1 through 12. What shall we say then that Abraham our father, as pertaining to the flesh, hath found? For if Abraham were justified by works, he hath whereof to glory, but not before God. For what saith the Scripture? Abraham believed God, and it was counted unto him for righteousness. Now to him that worketh is the reward not reckoned of grace, but of debt. But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. Even as David also describeth the blessedness of the man, unto whom God imputeth righteousness without works, saying, Blessed are they whose iniquities are forgiven, and whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord will not impute sin. Cometh this blessedness then upon the circumcision only, or upon the uncircumcision also? For we say that faith was reckoned to Abraham for righteousness. How was it then reckoned? When he was in circumcision, or an uncircumcision? Not in circumcision, but in uncircumcision. And he received the sign of circumcision, a seal of the righteousness of the faith which he had yet being uncircumcised, that he might be the father of all them that believe, though they be not circumcised, that righteousness might be imputed unto them also. And the father of circumcision to them who are not of the circumcision only, but who also walk in the steps of that faith of our father Abraham, which he had being yet uncircumcised. Psalms chapter 13. How long wilt thou forget me, O Lord? Forever? How long wilt thou hide thy face from me? How long shall I take counsel in my soul, having sorrow in my heart daily? 
how long shall mine enemy be exalted over me? Consider and hear me, O Lord my God, lighten mine eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death, lest mine enemy say, I have prevailed against him, and those that trouble me rejoice when I am moved. But I have trusted in thy mercy, my heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. I will sing unto the Lord, because he hath dealt bountifully with me. Proverbs chapter 19 verses 15 through 16. Slothfulness casteth into a deep sleep, and an idle soul shall suffer hunger. He that keepeth the commandment keepeth his own soul, but he that despiseth his ways shall die.